All right, everyone, here we go with Venus in Capricorn. This is an all signs reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is. This is straight up energy reading. Venus in Capricorn. Uh, I've talked a little about it on a recent three card I did where I kind of got a, we got a sneak peek of this energy when I pulled on the void. It's an exclusionary energy. It's an energy, and I'll explain that a little more in detail in a second, but basically it's an energy that spots what's bad and kicks it out, okay? Uh, a lot of the astrology sites you're going to visit, okay, are going to tell you that this is an energy when Venus moves into Capricorn, it's a chance to come to a compromise with external sources and things like that, a compromise in a relationship and all kinds of stuff like that. My problem with a lot of those sites when they, because they're not energy readers, they're astrologers, is the, my issue is they're not taking into account all the other energies that are in play, like I do when I pull my readings. Um, what's the, the main energy that's in play right now along as Venus moves into Capricorn is the full moon in Gemini and you have to take that reading into account. That's a very internal energy. It's an energy where we come to some realizations and we can't ignore them. They're just there when everything starts to make sense. Feelings for the runner make sense. So yeah, it is an energy of compromise, but it's an energy of compromise internally, not necessarily externally. It leads to external forward movement, which we see here with my pre-shuffle that opens with an Eight of Wands. And I'll be real surprised if we don't see an Eight of Wands in the weekly reading I do tomorrow, okay, for the week of the 11th through the, what is it, 17th. Um, but, so we have to take all the other energies in play, including Mercury and Capricorn and what I talked about on that reading. That said, with the full moon energy kind of rolling in here, this, this we're still in the middle of the uh, full moon in Gemini energy and so everything in that reading is valid. We've got someone who we've got an energy now with Venus moving into Capricorn that they've realized the negatives, right? They realize where the toxin is, they realize where they've gone wrong and this energy gives the urge to kick that out, to do something about it, to uh, deal with it, shall we say. Alright, so let's talk about this. This is just the surface energy. It's the pre-shuffle. First, I have to say it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. All right. This reading is technically timeless because you're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. So whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Pre-shuffle, surface energy. You're going to see what I'm talking about. First of all, I'll show you the sandwich. Okay, I got eight wands here. It's crossed by a tower, and underneath that is the Ace of Swords. I've got a tower sandwich, sandwiched in the, in, in the bread here is truth, the ace of swords, and forward movement, the eight of wands, all right? So someone knows what they, it, it's an energy of someone who knows what they have to do, and this Venus and Capricorn energy is causing a reaction that makes it happen. It rejects anything negative, anything toxic, anything like that, and it's, it's very powerful. I mean, you could see the power right here with this tower sandwich just in the surface energy. We haven't even done a fucking reading yet. This is just me asking the universe, you know, just give me the, you know, rough rundown, small talk energy, you know, having a cup of coffee with the, with the universe energy on Venus moving into Capricorn and the effect here. Um, underneath that is the very energy from the full moon reading, that King of Swords. And I told you in that reading, this King of Swords is bookending the Eight of Wands. This King of Swords, yeah, he takes action. He's my King of Action, goes toward happiness. He's got the rainbow sword here. That sword is a rainbow. It's a very smart owl, though, a great horned owl. He makes a plan. He gets his ducks in a row first. This is the ducks in a row, but it's saying those ducks get followed by forward movement rather quickly. That forward movement is kicking out all the shit. When, once the truth is realized, it's acted upon. Okay, and I've got two action cards right here that prove it, actually three. But first, the, the full moon energy is in play. And, you know, it's, it's a very internal thing. It's realizing some things. It's like, oh, that's why I'm like this. That's why my life is like this. You know, and they realized it before, but they usually have an urge to carpet sweep it, like I said. But in that full moon reading, we learned that they can't carpet sweep it. And this is proof of that. There's no carpet sweeping the truth when it's a tower sandwich between the truth and the eight of wands that's pretty tricky to carpet sweep especially with a king of swords energy underneath it so let's give the deck a shuffle here all right let's do it here we go uh, all right 
let's see what we get here. I think all of your horoscopes, and speaking as an energy reader, I think all your horoscopes and all the astrology sites you visit would be a lot more accurate if they took into consideration all of the energies that are in play. They don't. They seem to go on a daily basis with just the alignment, just the movement. The moon is in Aries, so this is happening, or the moon is here, or this alignment's happening there. There's always a recipe of energies in play. That recipe, just like a recipe you might cook in the kitchen, makes something. You know, they're ingredients, each energy. So, for the Venus moving into Capricorn, if you discount the fact that it's happening under the full moon in Gemini energy and what I said about that in that reading, it becomes very inaccurate. It becomes sort of an energy of someone reaching a compromise with someone on their side or, or being being fair and balanced and doing this and that. It, it's not really how Venus and Capricorn is behaving in this recipe of energy. All right. So that said, it does seem to result in some shit happening. Not a lot of compromise uh, under this under this specific energy recipe, and I'm shuffling. Don't worry. Venus in Capricorn is rather uncompromising, I think, as far as the negative stuff. On the positive side, it wants to do something about it. It wants to keep that. It wants to protect it. Okay. So let's see where we go here. This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? You mean a soulmate cycle? with the influence of all affecting energies and Venus moving into Capricorn. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's, okay. First card out. Why the fuck are we here? Well, before the cut, it's nine pentacles. Uh, why does that look familiar? Why have we seen that? We've seen that somewhere before uh, in this position. Anyway, I don't remember what reading it is because I watched them. Um, the nine of pentacles here is a feeling of liberation. It's that liberated feeling you get when you realize something, when something makes sense. Could be somebody getting themselves single and free to pursue. It could be. We saw full, we saw potential forward movement in the pre-shuffle. We opened with a card of communication, but a lot of that is internal. So what the Eight of Wands uh, with the Ace of Swords told me in the pre-shuffle, leaving the tower out of it, is someone here is now... They can't carpet sweep it, so they're having to deal with it. And that, that is very healing. It's very liberating. I'm not sure what, what comes after this, though, because there's a few energies around that Nine of Pentacles. Uh, I may have wanted to focus on one of the more minor ones. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Four of Cups. Yeah, I thought so. Um, the easiest way to describe this is under this energy, you want this energy to happen. There's a lot of energies lately that the non-runner wants. And this is something you want because this is now someone wants what they didn't want before and realizes that what they didn't want before, which for most of you is you, is actually where the Nine of Pentacles lives. It actually takes them to a point of liberation. And for a lot of them, it's because they're in a relationship that's very controlling or in a life that controls them, right? And uh, there's not a lot of independence with that. And in any relationship, whether it's a job, uh, a marriage or a relationship. Independence is a key ingredient. It, otherwise, it feels like a prison. You know, you like the job, for example, where you can you you can do what you you take your own course, take, make your own action. You can you can act a little bit freely and try some things, and they trust you to do your job and maybe expand on that a little bit. Those are nice. Those are those are good jobs. It's not, you don't like the jobs where you're micromanaged. And somebody standing over you, dictating exactly what you do, looking over your shoulder and all of that. That feels like a prison. Well, relationships are the same way. Anyway, what they once rejected, they now want and realize that that's liberating. That that's where their freedom is. And that's good. And that's all tied to that Ace of Swords. Uh, a lot of those truths coming true. And that King of Swords under the Ace of Swords in the pre-shuffle was holding that very Ace of Swords. So... That says, as we flow through the energy, the truths are acted upon. Someone is processing them, and they can't be carpet swept. All right? So let's do this. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. I think I've explained the energy sufficiently. Let's uh, do a final shuffle here. Give me the soulmate cycle with all affecting energies and the influence of Venus moving into Capricorn. I've been waiting for this one. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, come on, universe. Give me a reading. Okay. There we go. Universe, a little bit fussy today. Maybe because it's cold morning. I don't know. 
But boy, was that shuffle worth it. The overall energy is the very card I was just talking about, the King of Swords, who holds that Ace of Swords. So our reading picks it up from the pre-shuffle at the King of Swords. All right, well, again, they, they processing the truth. They cannot ignore it. And this king, coincidentally enough, does the same thing Venus in Capricorn does. Cuts out things that are very bad and toxic, leaving only the good, only the rainbow. And that's, again, that's what's happening here. Uh, Venus in Capricorn really does sort of, I think I did the uh, uh, animation on the uh, Seven of Cups in a recent three card where I flicked away the bad ones, right? It kind of does that. It's that kind of motion. What's fuel in this? A page of swords. Oh, it's, it's a feeling in between here, in this space in between, is a feeling of feeling full, foolish, okay? It, it, yeah, once they realize the truth, you know, obviously they're going to feel a little bit foolish about, because it's disappointed. They're disappointed in themselves. You were there the whole time. The answer was in front of them the whole time. But they kept carpet sweeping it, right? So yeah, they feel a little bit foolish. But with the overall energy of our reading being a king of swords, this is going to be a hell of a reading. Um, right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how your person's behaving in the 3D. Uh, my nose is running like a DM this morning again. I got a uh, right here is their soul. Right here is the hidden energy, the message from the universe. It's red with the energy of your connection. And right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything. Throw some universe cards over the top. And you bet your sweet asses. There's going to be a link for an extended in the description. Especially because I, I want to see how this energy affects you. And what you're flicking away, maybe. Uh, and I can... I, there's too many people here to pull on that here. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what falls on the table. I think it's going to be a very interesting extended, to say the least. Uh, especially with the King of Swords here. What's the energy around the connection right now? Ace of Swords. We got some cards from the pre-shuffle coming back. All right. Uh, this card wanted to come out with it, so these two are read together. This is the 3D position, how they're behaving in the 3D. And it's a Ten of Pentacles. These two energies are fused together. Your, the truth. Your connection is the real Ten of Pentacles. And because our overall energy is the King of Swords and he's holding the Rainbow Sword, action will be taken here. Once all the information is processed, Venus and Capricorn, once it gets rolling, and it's here till January 2nd or so, once Venus and Capricorn gets rolling, it kicks out anything that, that doesn't meet the requirements of the Ten of Pentacles. So what they're realizing, the energy of your connection is rooted in a reconciliation energy. Again, this backs up the cut cards with the Four of Cups with something that they once didn't want, they now want, and realize it's liberation. It's Nine of Pentacles. Um, here, they're saying they also, you know, they want to make it something more than that. They want to have a partnership with you they want because this is a, everything it's all of it it's very good energy these two are fused together so the soul energy is now bookending the ace of swords but i have to incorporate the ten of pentacles energy so what's the soul energy <laughs> another card from the pre-shuffle this wasn't in the pre-shuffle these two these three were and now they're getting placement a tower in the soul can be dangerous okay this i'm not gonna lie to you uh, and under, under the right context, I would urge someone to seek psychiatric help when I get a tower in the soul. This is not that context. It's not what's happening here. That's not what it means. Um, these truths, they can't, these truths is bookending here. And the truth about what they rejected is actually Ten Pentacles. Also, the truth about what's on their side can't be rejected. It can't be carpet swept. So they're, it's causing that tower. That's why we had the tower sandwich up, up, up in the pre-shuffle. It is. It's causing a tower in the soul. It's causing a complete teardown. It's causing this person to really look. This energy is causing them to look and do something about anything on their side that doesn't represent ten pentacles, which is a rainbow, and he's holding the rainbow sword. It's pretty cut and dry. It's pretty clear that they can't carpet sweep it. And that it's also pretty clear that that full moon in Gemini energy is extremely important in the way it's interacting with Venus and Capricorn energy. It's making it behave a little differently. The old, the old cookie cutter way of describing Venus and Capricorn that you'll see on most of the astrology sites is not accurate. It's not going to work here. You have to incorporate. And the cards are very clear and the energy here is very clear. You have to incorporate that full moon in Gemini energy. 
Um, yeah, it's causing a complete teardown. I'll be interested to clarify that. What's the universe want to tell us? It's red with the Ace of Swords. What about these two? Uh, there's the Eight Wands. Yeah. Um, there's a bit of an ants in the pants energy here. Okay. There's a bit of an ants in the pants energy. Um, I think this is generating a lot of fear in your person. And I say that because I took a peek at the final outcome, which I'm just going to pull. It's the Four of Pentacles. And I'm always honest with you. I don't want you to think I'm the amazing Kreskin. Oh my God, Mom, he said there's fear and then he pulled fear. Oh my God, I'll always tell you when something, when my mind is blown. You know, I will always tell you. Uh, in this case here, I did take a peek because I did feel the fear here. Um, and there it is. There's a, little, there's a little bit of fear here. It is scary to realize this person has, has a propensity to carpet sweep things. It is scary to realize that you got it wrong. Okay, that you're kind of trapped, that you have no independence. There has always been in this soulmate cycle an admiration energy of sorts for the DF side, for the non-runner side, we'll call it, um, because of the freedom you have. The ability, this, these runners, most of them, have always longed for the things they can't do, for the things they can't have. And the reasons that they can't do them and can't have them, in most cases, are fairly flimsy. In other words, they've, they've just got this image to keep up, or it always comes up as flimsy, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands kind of thing. So yeah, we've got forward movement on these because they can't be carpet swept, and it is a bit of an autopilot thing. We've talked about that before. It's a bit of on autopilot. When there's a tower in the soul, it's a bit like putting airplane fuel in your car. It just kind of goes. You don't even really need to hit the gas. Even at idle, it's doing 100 miles an hour. You know, it's like that kind of thing. Uh, there is forward movement here. The universe says that they want to communicate these things, but under this energy, it because the, the full moon in Gemini is involved and that's very internal, they may keep it inside. They may hold back, okay, under this energy. I don't think they can I don't think they can hold back for the entire period of this energy because of other things that are coming into play in the very near future. But it makes sense that they might. They might kind of just pull back a little bit because of these truths even though they want to it's like oh my god I, again the king of swords makes sure his ducks are in a row and makes a plan we've been in a stage before where, the, where these runners have made plans or were making a plan to do something but we've never had these specific energies in play okay we've never been in it it's usually been around an eclipse or something like that and that's all fine and good. That energy may still be in play too. The eclipse energy tends to radiate out for up to four to six months. Uh, so some of those energies are here, which is, which is amplifying things as well. I mean, there's a lot of energies in this in the specific recipe of right now. It's not just the full moon and Venus and Capricorn. There's at least 20 or 30 energies in play. But I only give you the, what you need to know so I don't confuse you in, in my ability to interpret the reading. Okay, So let's go. Let's see what happens here. I think this results in communication because the Eight of Wands is here. Uh, I think this is a small pullback while they figure out what the fuck to do now that they, I can't ignore this. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Let's clarify. Talk to the witches. See what the witches have to say. Why is the Ace of Swords here and why is it crooked? Okay. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Tell me about this. All this energy is around your connection is a reconciliation energy, by the way. In relation to your connection with this person, there's a strong reconciliation energy here. And you'll notice there's a rainbow snake wrapped around this. So again, the truth is you're where the rainbow is. I could put it like that. You're, you're, this sword wants you. This is you. You're the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and they blew it because we had that Four of Cups after the cut. And they know it. That's why they feel a little bit stupid. That's why there's a page of swords uh, coupled with this king of swords. You know, yeah. They felt stupid many times in this cycle for rejecting you or running from you, but um, they always carpet swept it. Can't be carpet swept under this energy. It's not possible. So, this is different. Why is the ace of swords? Which is why for a lot of you it does result in communication. A lot more people are going to get some resolution on there soulmate thing here yeah uh it's a reconciliation energy very strong it's the six of swords yeah uh, there has to be one of the reasons the eight of pentacles or the eight eight of pentacles eight of wands is here is is they have to work on this they have to do something about this okay 
Um, there's a there's a there's a need to, and that's because of the Tower of the Soul energy on some level. But deeper than that, it's it's because the soul is it's like on a reboot in a way. I'll be curious to see if a devil falls on top of this. I, I don't know that it will. Maybe a Seven of Swords. I, I don't know. We'll see what falls on this. I'm not sure this is going to be roses and rainbows when I clarify it. What's on top here? They don't, people don't like to admit they're wrong. Nobody wants to admit they got their whole life wrong. People can't even admit they got a candidate wrong or they got a, a, a car wrong. They bought a lemon. They won't. They won't admit it. You know, because then they look foolish. Nobody likes to look foolish. Your person under this energy feels like a fool. Okay? And that can cause people to hold back. It's just human nature. What's on top? Eight of Swords. Huh? I told you. Uh, it. I knew there was an eight here somewhere. I called this the Eight of Pentacles by accident. Freudian slip. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Yeah, they, everything I just told you. Everything I just said just got verified by this card. So if you didn't hear what I said, if you were futzing with the dog or wiping crumbs off your titties, go ahead and rewind and check it out. What I just said, it's right there. Nobody liked to admit they got it wrong. It causes a real... I'm not sure we're going to see roses and rainbows when I clarify that. What's, why is the Eight of Swords here? The Hermit. Mm, yeah. It can't be carpet swept. It can't be unknown. The Hermit is awake. He's coming down for the hill for supplies. It's making them nervous. So yeah, they're going to hold back a little bit. This card is red with the Ten of Pentacles, right? But it has to make sense, or it helps to clarify, if, either way you want to look at it, the energy of your connection. The Hermit here, again, this is all in the soul. And because these bookend this tower, um, it is creating an issue for this person. It is, it, because normally they can just carpet sweep it. And they, they, they've never really truly been able to carpet sweep you anyway. But this, this energy is just in their face. And they feel a bit trapped by it. Also, one of the thing, in another layer of energy, one of the things they're realizing is that they, are, that they are the cause of all this. The Eight of Swords, you can always get out of it. You know, you have the key right in your pocket. You could take the blindfold off and just walk right out of there. Uh, that's, that's also where a lot of that shame energy is coming from that we talked about, I think, in the full moon reading. Um, let's go. Let's talk about Ten Pentacles here. This is how they're behaving in the 3D. Probably on the surface behaving like everything is fine. Uh, business as usual, right? Life as usual. But let's see. Mm. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Mm -hmm. You remember this card, the King of Swords? Yeah, well, it's crossing here too. Uh, it is. This is very much the 3D energy, this King of Swords. Well, along with the Page of Swords that's crossing it, where, you know, there's, they feel a bit foolish here. What they once rejected, they realize is the damn thing that, that they actually needed. And again, this King of Swords, it's more of a, because I have to read it with holding back here, the Four of Pentacles, they're pretty scared by what they see, what they realize, what this Ace of Swords is showing them, what this energy is showing them. Uh, but because I have to read it with holding back here, I have to say the King of Swords is in the getting his ducks in a row and make it a plan stage. It is my king of action, though. He does move forward. We see it here. The universe says, hey, there's going to be forward movement here, Steve. Okay. Cool. I believe you. I don't think the universe is going to lie to us. What's on top? Ace of Pentacles. Mm, yeah. um, it's a bit of a wait for it energy. The king of swords in the energy of making a plan. He, you know, he holds the ace, of truth, the ace of swords, right? Archangel Michael's sword of truth. It's right there in his hand. It's so this energy that's in the soul that they're that they're getting and all of that because of the hermit here and all of that these realizations all this all these truths that they can't uh, carpet sweep away are coming out on the surface in the 3D. Um, this is someone here again. It's about making a plan, taking action. This is the energy of December, the Ace of Pentacles. Now they the Ace of Pentacles is the real deal. All right, it's not just Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. Yeah, it's been very slow. Uh, this person, these, these, this soulmate cycle, the runners have been slow to turn around, let me tell you. Um, but it's, it's about a solid new beginning. It's the most solid new beginning there is. So, somewhat, so with these truths they're getting, they want the re only the real Ten of Pentacles will do. Like I said, the Venus and Capricorn energy is kicking out anything that's shit. And that's exactly what this king does, leaving only solid gold, not bullshit. All right, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Two of Swords. Again, there's two two truths. Uh, it's it's very very clear. 
These are two ace of swords. Here's your ace of swords here. It's held by the king, so these two swords go to one. It's about cutting out the energy. It just backs up what I said. There's two truths. There's a truth about what, what's represented Ten of Pentacles on their side that they'd love to carpet sweep. And there's a truth about you and what you represent, what this soulmate connection represents that they'd love to carpet sweep. At the end of the day, this king is now figuring out what to do and the better one wins. All right? And believe me, that better one is you or this tower wouldn't be here, nor would this Eight of Wands. The, all of this is all of this so far is just explaining why the Four of Pentacles is here and why I think that, that results in communication. I think that's just a minor deer in the headlights kind of energy. And I saw that in the, in the, in the full moon reading anyway, that deer in the headlights vibrational energy. You know, it's, it's not surprising. You know, with all this truth here, I got a King of Swords and two Ace of Swords. One, two, one, two, three, four Ace of Swords. Five, if we count that one. There's a whole lot of truths coming to life for this person. Not just about you and their life on their side. It's how they've been living. It's how they've treated other people. There could be past relationships coming back up for this person and how they behaved. I mean, it's, it's a lot. And all this energy is affecting you as well in an equal and opposite reaction. So allow it to flow. Allow yourself to take a look at Don't end up with a tower in your soul. That's not, that's not right. Uh, this is definitely the incoming energy here for sure. Because most of you are a much higher vibration. A lot of this stuff, it will more be confirmational energies for you. That you're on the right path than anything else, I think. Let's talk about this tower. I'm not sure this is going to be roses and rainbows here. What's the tower? I, I, they, again, it's hard to see that you got that you got things wrong, and, and this person is prone to just ignoring that. They've seen it before, but they've carpet swept. There's no fucking carpet. It's just a hardwood floor. You got to sweep it up. Okay, there's no way. There's nowhere to hide it. Why is the tower here? And that causes a real tower in the soul. Let's go. Why? Why? Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be roses and rainbows. It's crossed by the eight of cups. Um. It's almost a sad goodbye energy. It's hard for this person to walk away from these eight broken cups. It, because in their mind, it, I'll show you the imagery and I hope I explain this right. We, we tend to call these eight broken cups. Walking away from eight broken cups toward the nine of cups, right? But it's hard for this person to do it. It's very hard for them to see. It brings the whole world crashing down to get all this truth, okay? Whether it's about you, about what's on their side, about their past. You, if you look at the cups on this witch's tarot, they're not broken. They actually look pretty good, don't they? You'd grab one of those off the shelf. How much for this? Two bucks. Okay, I'll buy it. You know, like that. They, they look pretty good. To this person, their life has looked pretty good. These eight broken cups, they had themselves convinced that these cups were fine. These eight cups. But they're not. They're not. And, and there's a realization of that now. And that's that's the that's the imagery and the way it plays out with the soul energy this is what's happening they've got to go toward that nine of cups but there's a bit of a sad goodbye to it it's hard to admit we got it wrong it's human nature people do not like to admit they were wrong about all kinds of things all right um what's on top eight wands forward movement again the forward movement here feels forced the tower we don't control it Okay, it's major arcana. It ha it's a it's lightning, right? You don't control where it's it just like from uh, the ancient peoples used to believe it was the gods themselves raining down their wrath, if you will. It's like that. Okay, it feels it's forward movement, but because it's a tower, they have no choice. There's nowhere to carpet sweep this stuff, and it's a very sad card. This Eight of Cups energy that's crossing it. That's that's the environmental energy around it. Because they, they had themselves convinced that these cups were fine. She seems to be, she seems, it, it doesn't matter if your person's male or female, it's a she on the card. She seems to be walking away from eight perfectly good cups. You'd almost yell, hey, where are you going? These are fine. But they're not. And that's what they realized. It, it feels forced here. Why is the eight of wands here? The three of wands. Um... It's a bit of a it's a bit of a, a two steps forward and one step back kind of a thing. It's 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 an energy of uh, these two energies blend weird. Give me one more card on the uh, three of wands. 
you know, the Page of Swords. It's an energy of holding, it's the same kind of energy that's around this Page of Swords. It's an energy of holding back, staying on the shore, and just for the sheer reason that they, again, I just keep saying that they feel stupid. Nobody likes to admit they got it wrong. This person is, is disappointed in themselves and there's forced forward movement here because the, they can't carpet sweep all these truths that are coming in. And this energy wants to kick out the bad stuff. All right? uh, it's almost like a kid, if I had to describe this energy, it's like a, a kid that has lived at home. You have a child, they've lived at home for a long time and you just decide one day to kick them out. And whether they're ready or not, I mean, you think they're ready, but they're not sure if they're ready, kind of a thing like that. This person isn't sure if they can survive in, this, in these new truths, is an easy way to say it. And that's also why I pointed out earlier, the tower in the soul can be dangerous. Under the right context, in the right context, I should say, this could be somebody who needs some serious psychiatric help. It could be a cry for help, like a suicide type thing. It's not like that energy here. But that is the same frequency of energy plays out differently in different situations. It is someone who doesn't think he's quite ready, doesn't think they're quite ready yet. But they have no choice. This is God's source, the universe itself, causing this energy to move forward. It's not them. So, yeah, they're not sure. A little insecure. All right? That's fine. You know, like I said, I didn't think it was going to be roses and rainbows there. Why is it now? We are going to talk about the Eight of Wands because these are definitely tied together a little more. So let's see what the universe wants to tell us. Tell us about this Eight of Wands, universe. What's going on here? Why is that guy hanging on the cliff, feeling all oh, I'm not ready? I'm not ready. Oh my God, I can't get rid of this. I can't unknow this. I can't un. And now I got this Venus energy that's forcing me to. It feels like it's forcing me to do something. It's not. It's not forcing. The energy doesn't force you to do anything. You got your choice. You got your decision. It's perfectly fine. It's free will. But boy, does it feel like it. It only feels like it because they can't, un they can't carpet sweep it. You know, the universe got their eyes taped open. You know, almost has them tied to a chair. Look at this energy. You know, look. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Um. Well, here it is. This will be the uh, well. This will be the top card, I guess. This fell on the floor, reversed, as I was shuffling. So I'm done shuffling. It's the Two of Pentacles reversed. They don't have a choice. A choice has to be made. It's what I already said about this Eight of Wands on top of a tower, and these two Eight of Wands are tied together. The Two of Pentacles reversed. This is exactly how it fell on the floor. They don't have a choice. It's what I've been saying while I'm talking. Uh, it feels forced to them. And it, it's not, it is only feeling that way because they can't carpet sweep it. Why is the two of, I'll show you what's crossing in a moment. Why is, why the two of pentacles reverse fall on the floor? Three of cups. Again. Um, what they know, it's a third energy card, okay, in this particular context. What they know about each, all right, they have to take action on each. And that ties almost, this energy is feedbacking off this two of swords here. There's two truths. Okay, one that one thing isn't and hasn't been the Ten of Pentacles and one thing is. And there's no way to get rid of it. With the tower coming right after that, you know, it's like an act of God almost. There's just no way. They've got to open up. They have to move forward with this energy. They have to. And this, these cards are read with the energy of your connection. I said there's a very strong reconciliation energy around your connection. Yeah, that's kind of what this is. It's a celebration energy that's coming off of it. They don't get the choice. They really don't. They, I mean, they get a choice to not do anything or do something about it, but it does, the energy is moving forward whether they join in or not, okay? So it'll leave them behind if they choose to try to do nothing about it. It will leave them behind. It will likely spank them, you know? Things will only get worse on their side until they learn this lesson. It goes back to that old adage, lessons we don't learn are doomed to repeat. There, there's a reason for that because uh, if we need to learn a lesson, it's unbalanced energy. That's all. The whole universe is just energy. Energy tries to balance in nature. So if you're if you need to learn something, if you keep fucking up, um, that's unbalanced energy. So nature, want, by nature, wants to balance the energy. So it keeps it keeps bringing it keeps coming around. It'll stay until it's balanced. When it's balanced, it'll float in with the rest of the energy and float away. That's you learning your lesson. So again, 
It's not, it's not that they're being forced, it's just nature. It's just unbalanced energy that needs to be balanced. And that energy is going to keep coming around and hitting them in the ass until they do something about it. They're not going to be able to carpet sweep these truths, which is why I think, I mean, especially here, communication, communication, choice being made, they don't, or they get no choice, choice being made for them, because this ties with the Eight of Wands, which ties with this Eight of Wands, which ties with the Tower. This is communication. It's my biggest card. It's a bigger card than the Eight of Wands of communication in the Minor Arcana for me. It's three cups, the flow of water. I think this results in communication. I think this is minor. I said I'd show you the crossing card. It's a Knight of Cups. Okay? They don't have a choice. Bring the cup. Don't bring the cup. But the energy's flowing regardless, and it's going to keep coming around and hitting them in the ass until they learn this lesson. The solution is to bring the cup to you is to come your way, is to go toward one of the two truths. The truth that is the real deal, not the truth that is the fake deal. The fake deal is knocking, balance, uh, is knocking energy out of balance. And the universe has, has had about enough of that. And, these, and this particular soulmate cycle has been a real bear. It's like a truck stuck in the mud to the universe. It really is. These, these runners, of all the soulmates, this is my fourth soulmate cycle I've studied. I'm only old enough for that. But I've, I've looked into the energy of other previous ones. But of all of them that I've studied, this one here, by this point in the cycle, we're about, oh, I guess, I guess the cycle started sometime in, you know, late 2018 through late 2019. So we're at least two, three, almost four years into this cycle, you know, four years possibly, three years into this particular cycle more should have come together by now you know normally we're at like 70 percent capacity by now we're nowhere near that here nowhere near it in this cycle these runners and that's why these energies don't come around all the time and they are there's a lot of divine timing involved in this particular soulmate cycle where the energies are lining up just right and now they can't carpet sweep this shit. it's one of those situations where Someone will tell you, if you don't take care of it, it'll, it'll, it'll take care of you. You know, kind of a thing like that. It's a bit like ignoring a health problem. That's what this person's been doing, technically. You know, it, you, know you can choose not to go to the doctor and get it fixed. That's fine. But, a do but the health problem's there whether you choose to go or not. So it's on one day, it's going to come back and get you. And that's what's happening here. It's coming back to get them. All that shit, they carpet swept. There's nowhere to sweep it now. It's pretty obvious. So, why is this Four of Pentacles here? Venus and Capricorn is good, man. It, it cuts, a, it, it really forces some shit to happen as far as getting rid of the negative. That's what it does. I wouldn't want to be married to this person under this energy uh, for the vast majority of them, I'll tell you that. Or be the one controlling them. Why is the uh, Four of Pentacles here? Yeah. This card is red with the Ten of Pentacles. It is crossed by the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? It is. I mean... Again, it's about going for the real deal. These cards are read together. So it's about going for the real deal. It's just a repeating message. It's a moment where there's, there's a moment where a, the King of Swords, because he was crossing here, the King of Swords makes a plan, gets his ducks in a row, and then he moves forward. And when I've got forward movement surrounding this thing, look at that, the Four of Cups. What they didn't want before, they now want. And the problem is this. Here's why we have the pause. Here's why we have the hold back. The Four of Cups. You know the story behind this card. He didn't bang the little blonde girl. They're wondering whether, again, there's that energy of, uh, will I get a second chance? You know, did I fuck myself here? Uh, there is a little worry about that. There's always that fear of rejection in these goddamn connections in this cycle. I hate fear of rejection. Who gives a shit if somebody wants to reject? Whatever. You know, fine. You, you're not in? Fine. You're not interested? Okay, bye. It's your loss. You know, that's what I think. Whatever. Go. Cool. It is what it is. Um, the Four of Cups is red with the Ace of Pentacles. Again, what they once rejected, uh, they, re they rejected the real deal. The universe wants you to know this. They rejected the real deal. They rejected you. And now they want it. And that's the thing. Yep. It's judgment time. I was right. It, it does result in something. It results in someone from the past coming into the present to affect your future and it's all about the moon i know that's not a full moon on there but it is the moon with symbolism it's not literal it's all about that moon energy all of these truths all these things they're realizing inside and venus and capricorn coming and saying fine you've realized all these things let's get this negative shit out of here right 
It's like my wife at uh, spring cleaning. See, every spring she goes through the damn house and wants to throw stuff out. She grabs, she'll come in here and grab stuff off my shelf. You want this? I want to throw this away. Well, you, I'm like, why do you want to throw it away? It's on my shelf. I never, you never use it. Uh, okay, okay, well, that doesn't mean I don't want it. it it's just like that. It, it is, Venus in Capricorn is that wants to throw shit away. Well, you don't use it, it's junk, it's just collecting dust, I'm going to throw it away. Yeah, but I like it, you know. I, I don't have any choice either. You know, it gets thrown away. Once it's in the hand, it gets thrown away. That said, this person here, it, Venus in Capricorn, is throwing away all the junk. It's judgment time. It's time, for, somebody wants a second chance, and this, just, this judgment card just backs up what I said about this card. Somebody wants a second chance at the real deal. They, which, which they once rejected. This card is about second chances. Why is the Four of Cups here? Judgment, because somebody wants a second chance. So they are probably going to head your way. And I say probably, that's the best I can give you. It's not wishy-washy. I can't predict what a free 3D person is going to do, and I've explained. They can either go with the energy or not. The energy is coming towards you. The energy is here right now that they can't carpet sweep what's going on, and Venus wants to kick some shit out. I want to know in the extended. What the hell is going on in this Eight of Swords and what the hell they're figuring out over here with this tower? You know, because the tower and the soul, I could pull a three hour reading just on the energy that's here. Don't think that these little three cards on top tell the whole story. I'm going to get the whole story. We're going to talk to this King of Swords. I don't mind. I like great horned owls. I've been more than happy to talk to him for a little while. And we're going to find out where this is going because I see someone coming back here. All right. And it, there is a bit of a pause, but that's just while the king gets his ducks in a row. That moon energy is very important here. Make sure you watch the full moon reading too. It's extremely important with this energy. All right, that's your reading here. Let's um, let's pull three cards from the universe, and then I'll go pull some wicked voodoo. What else do you want to tell everyone, universe? Before I go pull some wicked voodoo, give me three cards and a crossing card. Let's see. What else do we want to know? In the extended, I'll do the usual. I'll do a pyramid. I'll do a timeline. And then I'll, I'll just pull some random readings on this tower here and see what's going on on their side, what's going on in their head, see how it affects you. Okay? This, anybody, anybody who's connected to you who gets a tower in the soul, that energy is going to reverberate your way. Okay? So we need to find out how that's going to affect you. So that if nothing else, you can get warned in advance not to freak out. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to say. We'll see. Anyway, let's do this here before we go pull some wicked voodoo. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. Mm. Two of Wands. We always pull from the bottom here. Two of Wands. High Priestess. Eight Pentacles. High Priestess. Crossed by the Queen of Cups. This is a very, 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 very fucking simple energy. Someone, again... The universe, for some reason, I don't know if it's somebody watching who's not sure or whatever. I have no idea. But it seems to want you to know that what, what this person has kept silent is all coming to the surface. And it's all about cups. It's all about love. It's all about feelings. And they tell someone who had a wall up, that wall was crashing down. And these cards are very clear. They can't carpet sweep this. This person here needs to get to that nine of pentacles. There's a need to do it. This wand is no longer good. It's rotten. It's terrible. It's falling apart. They need to move in a new direction. And, but the main message here, and this, this ties to the nine of pentacles that was before the cut. That's why I put it there. This is the apprentice working toward that. Somebody here needs to resolve this energy is what the universe said. So it does likely, it, it all backs up this, this judgment card here as the final final, which is why the four of cups here. Why do they want, you know... Uh, why are they now all of a sudden interested in the second chance? Well, the specific reason, who knows? Uh, but it's something that needs to be resolved around truths that they realized under this Gemini full moon energy. And those truths revolve a, a lot around the Queen of Cups. All right? And I think we've seen the Queen of Cups recently. I don't know if it was the full moon reading or if it was the three card I pulled, sort of the precursor to this reading. But it's all coming up from the depths for this person. And it's causing them to set the intention to do something about it, to try to see if there's another chance here with you. But there's a lot going on with this tower in the soul. That's a powerful energy to have in the soul position. And I'm going to dig into that in the extended for sure, like I said. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. 
Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna jump right to it. I can't wait to pull on that tower. All right. Good luck.